let's reopen our equipable item because right now we should be able to add to it create asset menu and we should be able to test how we create the description for it so let's go back to our uh, unity and we are going to go to the data folder and let's right click create an equipable item so and this will be our sword now we should be able to uncheck that this is not stackable max stack size is one call it sword and we are going to add cats things this is our base description but now let's select the loot loot uh, select the sprite the loot uh, sprite uh, loot one and we are going to add uh, default parameters add one we are going to extend it we are going to select the durability parameter and this will be set to be 100 so now this value is 100 this is the default value of the durability now again this is just the concept of how we can add it it can be certainly improved upon but this is how i would approach this topic of creating unique items so here we have our default parameters list and we can create the item in our inventory uh, in our game let's drag the copy of the item and we are going to set it to be not an apple but a sword item uh, quantity will be one or maybe uh, let's set it to be two and we're going to try to collect it so let's press play and let's try to collect this sword item okay and let's open it up let's select it and as you can see the description shows durability 100 uh, of uh, out of 100 the apple doesn't show anything because it has no parameters and uh, another source shows the durability as well so one last thing is just to show you how to use this parameter how to decrease it so we are going to stop the game we know that our description works we need to go back and implement the functionality of how to use this uh, sword item to do this let's go back to our scripts folder and we are going to quickly create the agent weapon script that will take care of tweaking the durability so let's call it agent weapon basically this would be some sort of a system that can equip the item into our character uh, equipment and that for example after swinging the sword or attacking something it will decrease the durability let's open this agent weapon script okay and let me paste instead of the update and start i'm going to paste the parameters that we are going to have we're going to have a serious field private equipable item so weapon that will be our weapon that is equipped let's right click on this equipable item so quick actions and you say using inventory dot model now our next parameter will be serialized field private inventory so reference inventory helper so that we can equip and unequip the item and we are going to have a serialized field private list of parameters parameters to modify as well as another list of item current state so we can create it as a one list item current state so let's copy this let's paste it on one line so that we do not have to type all of this great now we need to know the parameters to modify a list and the item current state is because we are passing here the equipable item so we could pass item uh, uh we could pass inventory item instead but basically we all we need to have is the reference to the scriptable object as well as the ref, uh, list of item parameters we can maybe change the name of the inventory so from the inventory helper to inventory data okay let's now create some logic here so i'm going to paste two methods first will be simply public void set weapon we're going to get the reference to the equipable item so weapon item so and list of item parameters item state now we are going to check if weapon is not null so the weapon that we store here as the parameter we're going to call inventory data add we're going to add this uh, weapon item one item but we are going to pass the item current state to keep the current state of the item after using it as a weapon now next we're going to set this weapon to be the weapon item so reference this item current state equals again since we are passing a list of structs we need to create a new list of item parameters and we need to basically duplicate the, those structs into a new list and we are going to call modify parameters just to uh, simulate how we are using this item how the durability decreases so to create modify parameters right the quick actions and generate this method
Now we are going to slide it down and the private void modifier parameters method will contain for each var parameter in the parameters to modify list. Now this is the list that we define in the agent weapon uh, reference script and we are going to simply uh, set the durability to be modified when we use it. So what we are going to do is for each parameter we're going to check if item current state so the state of the item contains this parameter. This is partly why we have created uh, this I equipable interface uh, we have used this I equipable interface so that we can now use this item current state contains parameter so if our list contains this uh, this will be checked using this equal uh, method that we have created inside this item parameter we're going to check int index equals item current state index of this parameter next we're going to set float new value equals item current state index value plus the parameter value so if this is negative, we are going to subtract from it. If this is positive, we are going to add to it. Now, of course, we should probably clamp it in between the zero and the max value defined as the parameter of our equipable item weapon. Now, if we have this value, we are going to set item current state index equals new item parameter because we need to create a new struct. Item parameter equals the parameter item parameter. So this is the reference to the parameter and the value equals simply the new value. And this is how we are going to create our item parameter and assign it to our existing state of the item. So basically we are going to set the durability to be decreased. So let's save this agent weapon. Let's go back to Unity. Great. And here we are going to select our player. We are going to add a component. This will be our weapon, agent weapon. And we are going to have a weapon reference. The inventory data reference this is just because we have used serialized field and we're going to set parameters to modify add one we are going to set this to be durability and let's modify this value by 10 so we're going to uh, reduce it so we need to pass minus 10 and the item current state with uh, will be of course the current state of the item we do not want to modify this now last thing to finish our logic is to go back to our model and open our equipable item SO. Here we had this uh, perform action uh, unimplemented method. Let me paste the code that we are going to use here. So we are going to set agent weapon weapon system equals character get component agent weapon. Again we need to define this logic here. If weapon system is not null we're going to set weapon system set weapon this so this reference of the equipable item so item state if it is equal to null so if we have passed here null we are going to set the default parameters list else we are going to pass the item state the item state of the current weapon now we are going to return true because we may want to know if we have equipped the item or not else we are going to return false this is just for the sake of knowing what is the outcome of the action for if we want to add some feedback for the user to for example to print that equipping was unsuccessful because your character cannot equip this item so this is the idea here okay with this done let's save this and of course last thing that we need to do is go to our inventory controller and here we have already created this handle item uh, action request go to the definition we have pasted here the uh, test code that will simply use the item instead of showing the actions that we can perform on this item basically what we did here is pass null to this perform action instead we want to ask the item uh, or inventory item for its state so we want to pass item state so if it is the default state we are going to pass the default state if this state was changed we are going to pass the unique state of this item now one more thing that we want to do is to destroy this item so let's take a look at our equipable item so it does implement this i destroyable item basically we want to destroy this item because it will be passed to our agent weapon and when we want to set the weapon to another weapon we are going to get back this weapon this is inside this set weapon we are going to call inventory data dot add weapon okay 
Now, last thing that we need to take care of is the inventory controller performs the destruction of the item uh, after we perform the action. But if we have three items and three slots taken, if we perform the action on our sword, we are not going to be able to add the sword back to our inventory if we have already equipped one. So we need to move this item destroyable item code to remove our item before we use the act, uh, before we call item action and before we perform the action. So now we are going to first destroy the apple that we have, for example, then restore the health. But uh, for the sword, we are going to first remove the sword that we want to equip and then re-add the previously equipped sword. So this is only for this purpose. Now we should have all the logic that we need, file, save all and let's go back to Unity. With all the code written, let's select our player v2 and just assign the inventory data because I have forgotten to do this. We need to assign our player inventory data and now let's press play. Great, let's collect our swords. We should now be able to open the inventory and click right mouse button to equip our sword. Now if we open the inventory again, the first sword has durability 100. If we use it and select the second one, then the durability is 10. Again, let's use it. Select this one, durability is 90. Again, now it's 80. So basically we are swapping the swords, we are equipping this one. And this is 70, let us me move it. Let me equip it. This one was added. Now this is 60. So if we stop it, we can select our player agent weapon and we can see that we have weapon sword uh, as uh, the weapon that is equipped. Item state, our current element is zero. The value is 60. So this is the uh, durability of the weapon that is currently equipped. And the weapon that we have in the inventory was also decreased. The durability is 60. And if we go back to our data, to our player inventory we will see that we have our item a sword the item state element one is 60 so it all matches the inventory data that we have and we can simply close open it up again and the sword has the durability 60 and we can equip the old sword and again the old sword that we have returned from our inventory is 60 again so this is how we can create this durability parameter or any other parameter for our sword or for our item that we can modify by using our inventory system. Okay, I know this was a long set of videos. Last thing that we are going to do is instead of clicking right mouse button to perform the action, I will want to show buttons that will allow us to drop the item as well as to perform uh, the eat item, uh, eat action or equip action. So that's what we are going to do in the next video, which I hope will be the last of this series. Okay, see you in the next video.